Hi, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do a paranormal show. What's paranormal? <laughs> well, everybody knows what is paranormal activities, right? It's something that cannot be explained, it's strange, cannot be uh, you know, scientifically proven kind of stuff. It can be anything at all. Uh, but I'm going to start this show with something that I've experienced previously and uh, slowly progress into sharing experiences sent by you guys. I like to uh, talk about stuff that you know you guys have experienced. Right, so let's start off this show with my personal experiences. First off, when I was young, when I was like, I don't know how old I am, but when I was young, where I can actually run around and you know, start uh, playing playing with toys and talk you know in legible language <laughs> of course at that point of time it's only Chinese you know English is still not my uh, favorite language of my family <laughs> so in that sense during that time my mom actually brought me to a auntie house uh, I, I remember calling her auntie but I do not know what relative she is so I'm not going to review it, I'm not going to find out because it might be uh, bad for the reputation for that location. Right, so the location is a condominium at the west side of Singapore. Basically, that's all I can say. And uh, I do know the exact location, but now I'm not quite sure whether it's still existing there or not. Right, so the location is a condominium. I don't know which floor, in the middle of afternoon, about late afternoon, about 4 or 5 p.m., yeah, I remember 4 5 p.m. It's, it's still day when we went to the room, the, the house, and uh, it's about evening time when we came out. Right, so during that time, my mom is uh, actually having a talk with the auntie in the living room while I was uh, running around looking for toys. Um, I'm very, very naughty. I actually open all the doors, try to open up all the you know cupboards and, and try to find toys. I remember this auntie may have a kid or some sort so i just open i remember the cupboard is filled with uh clothes that are very neatly uh you know folded and everything until i open every single door uh left with the one last door which i thought is the storeroom i know my my personally all my toys are kept in the storeroom in my own house at that point of time so i thought that but the storeroom is the treasure trove. <laughs> so I just run there and I just open the door. The, the door seems to cre creak like, it you know, open up. And I saw this guy right in front of me. It's like, how do I explain? It's like a human, but it is not a human. How I know? Because he's wearing some kind of Japanese uniform, a green hat with a star over here center of the head some uh, cloth at the back of the head and uh, the the uniform is uh, full army uniform with some badges on over the left side of the chest and the, the, the thing it does not appear to be human is because it does not have any hands and legs and it's appearing to be like uh, floating above the ground uh, you know if if there's a legs that you will be standing at the correct height but I don't see any legs that's the thing that I, I, I know that it's not a human so during that point of time I was like frozen in shock and I can't speak I can't shout I can't breathe and uh, like like uh, like almost like eternity it's like a few seconds but almost like eternity uh, the ghost actually mentioned five Chinese words which it's quite weird why a Japanese ghost will speak Chinese. <laughs> so he said, 我要吃东西, five words. And it, it, it literally means I want to eat something. But um, after that, I, I found my voice and I basically scream out loud. Like uh, in Chinese, <laughs> you know, the, the, the scream like ghost, you know, shout out in, in. And after that, I just slammed the door closed. Bam. Then the thing is, when the door closed, I, I almost swear if there is anyone behind that door, the nose will be broken. <laughs> because I slammed the door so hard. And I ran all the way to the living room and, and, and uh, point to the door and say, Guia, Guia, Guia. You know, my, 
mom actually asked me why my face are so white like a piece of paper and I said you know ghosts you know I, I've seen ghosts and the auntie doesn't seem to be surprised <laughs> that's the thing and they they are very calm uh, like almost sh as shocked as I am but they are very calm and they actually call someone and they call this guy out uh, after a few like half an hour or so this guy came out and chain smoking right in front of the open of the main door uh, without coming into the house yet I remember this guy smoking and smoking like second cigarette before coming into the house and wearing this uh, yellow robes kind of kind of like Taoist robes and I believe there's a hat. I can't remember what's the logo on the hat. But he actually put me on top of a very tall chair. You know, those kind of chair that uh, is so tall that when you put me on top of it, my legs cannot touch the ground. It's that tall. Or maybe because I'm still young. But I was facing that particular door that I saw the ghost and he just opened it. And I realized it's not a storeroom. It is actually a bad fire exit or some sort. Very strange. I never seen such a condominium before. Uh, you know, I never been to any condominium before my age. But even after the the incident, I don't actually find any. I mean, I never actually have a chance to go into such a condominium that have a back door to a fire exit with a staircase. Uh, I saw the railings. I I remember seeing the railings and it's very dark. Um, so I'm quite surprised. It's a back door. And it actually burned a talisman with a yellow uh, talisman. It's like a piece of paper, yellow piece of paper. I just write some black words or some sort. And then just burn it. And then put the ashes onto a, a plain uh, bowl of water. And then he just drank, drank the water and, and spray on the back of my head. And after that, he did the same thing to the front door as well. And, and uh, basically sealed the back door with uh, two talisman sealing it up and basically that's what i experienced uh for the ghost side and after like a few weeks or months my mom brought me out to you know, outing or some sort of, uh, sit on a taxi and the taxi turned around and uh you know told my mom something like uh, along the the this uh, kind of words actually say out in, in, in a different way. He said he actually learned something from a master in some country. I don't remember which country. And he said he can actually see that um, your son, me, actually have third eye. And it's not a full eye. It's actually a, a, a half an eye that can see ghosts. Uh, see dead people, basically. Uh, but the thing is, it's not a permanent eye. It is uh, like... um like um due to bad luck or some sort you know when i was still young they say i will grow out of this third eye eventually and not be able to see ghosts anymore but i can actually he he himself the driver can actually prematurely uh take out this eye not say take out it like remove it but later i learned it's just injuring it <sighs> i'm not quite sure uh basically he went to i mean my mom invite him to the old house at west coast in singapore in front of this altar the altar actually at that point of time is actually the godless of mercy godness of mercy is uh in chinese is Kuan Yin Pusa, and some other uh gods of altar idol there uh and we actually i'm actually kneeling in front of this altar and and he uses three joysticks three burning joysticks and very close to my eyes was uh, doing some prayers and after like half an hour while well, my brother and sister is inside the the other rooms i'm not quite sure afraid to come out and uh the taxi driver actually declared that uh my third eye is no longer uh open so after that i don't see any ghosts anymore i only saw once uh, that i can remember but my mom actually told me uh several times that before that incident I was able to talk to invisible people uh, in the kitchen of the old house and uh, you know every time in the middle of the night I will crawl out of the back door uh, during that time there's some back door with a uh, two doors uh, wooden door will open so I would will, I will, like go, in, go out by myself crawl on the floor I, I wasn't able to um, walk I was able to crawl out of the house in the middle of the night and play with friends that 
there's no friends at that point of time so it's quite weird um that i i'm i have a history of uh what you know talking to invisible people and the only time i can remember that i saw a ghost is the japanese soldier ghost well basically that's my experience after that i don't see any ghosts anymore but i do see something else in the sky which i'm going to show in you know tell you guys in the next paranormal show but i would like you guys to uh tell me your experience especially the real ones and you can actually send your experience through email at summer on the eight at gmail.com or the link that i've shown in the bottom here you can actually record using your iphone ipad android the voice recorder application uh, and record your voice and then send it to me and i will actually uh listen and uh, if if it's a written text you can send in written text uh, we can do a hangout together google plus hangout and you can just share your experience face to face with me and uh, i'll make that into a paranormal show i hope the or you you, rem you prefer to be anonymous you can just send in anonymously and i'll read out your your story your experience uh in this manner right so Basically, that's it for this uh, paranormal show, and I uh, hope you like it. And of course, do comment in the comment section below uh, what I should change in the future. And uh, of course, uh, do share this and subscribe to this channel, right? So, thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye.